Hello my friends and welcome to another video from Karatul. My name is Arpit Pandit and in this video we are going to talk about some exciting changes coming up into the Cisco certifications from next year. So Cisco recently announced that uh, from next year February uh, 2020 they are going to make a lot of changes into how the certifications are done especially into the CCI certification tracks they have made some huge changes and uh, uh, the main uh, objective here you will see is that the main emphasis they are putting it is on the programmability network programmability and the network management so the software defined networking SDN which they had been pushing a little bit from uh, past few years now they are going to make it mainstream so that is going to become the backbone of all the CCI certifications of course apart from the core technologies which are there into those certifications so what are we looking at what kind of changes have been done so there are many changes Cisco has done but the core part, the certif CCI certification part, they have made a huge change. So let's talk about it and let's see what to expect uh, from uh, those exams uh, starting from next year. And also how Karotul can help you to get this, these things done. So first of all, let me introduce Karotul. Uh, Karotul is a new organization which we have created. My name is, uh, as, I, as you know that my name is Apit Pandit and I have been in CCI training industry for more than uh, 15 years and I have taught many CCI students uh, many of them passed into their first attempt and our unique approach to uh, to tackle CCI or any other certifications is to make sure that your core knowledge is very solid because more so many times what happens that the basic practice the basic practice for the exam and the lab is done but the core knowledge is always left out somewhere or the other but we make sure that your core knowledge, your base, your foundation is perfect and then you go ahead and uh, start preparing for the exam. That's why our CCI courses are designed in a way that we have a complete month just for the foundational knowledge so that you feel confident into every technology which you are going to tackle. Whether it is multicasting, IP version 6, QoS or the core technologies like OSPF and BGP. And uh, then after that we have another dedicated month just for the labbing. So you practice labs, but this time, since you have the core knowledge, the foundational knowledge, the lab, uh, uh, tackling the lab or doing the labs become easier and fun. And uh, at the end of the day, once you are ready for the exam, not only you know all the core topics, you also know what is the lab structure and how Cisco asks questions. Because that is one, uh, that is one of the things which always uh, confuse people that the way uh, questions are asked and how the exam is formatted. So Karotul has always been one step ahead and uh, made sure that uh, the students not only get the knowledge but they also get the format information that how Cisco is going to ask the questions so it doesn't become a shock when you go for the exam. Because so many people they have the knowledge but just having knowledge is not enough you need to execute it uh, in a way that you when you go for the exam you don't waste any time. So our goal is very clear, accuracy and speed. You need two things and accuracy can come when you have the core knowledge set up very well. And that's what we take care of. And speed can come if you know the format and if you have practiced enough for that format. So that is something uh, you can get into Karotul. We are actually opening our branch in Dubai also from next year. So we will keep you updated if you want more information and if you want to see some technological videos uh, we have uploaded and we will keep on uploading the, them. So please uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave a comment that what exactly do you want uh, from us uh, record, uh, according to the uh, videos and the technologies. All right. So without further ado, let's talk about the technologies, uh, technological changes they have done into the CCI certification track from next year. So changes in CCI tracks. So first thing you will notice is that uh, some of the tracks they have just upgraded the version but some other tracks they have completely retired and uh, created uh, the new versions of them for example uh, cci collaboration security data center and service providers their versions have been upgraded uh, but routing is switching cci routing is switching they have retired that exam and they have created actually a new exam instead of that called cci enterprise infrastructure and wireless exam also has been retired and given a new name enterprise wireless now the main thing you will see that uh, before uh, 2020 uh, february 2020 that means the current uh, current structure of the exam 
they have the same structure for every exam and they are going to change all of them to the new structure so let's see let's see the comparison between the old structure and the new structure so the old format of the exam the C, uh, was the cci written exam also known as the cci qualification exam and once you pass the written exam then you can go for the lab and uh, the cci qual exam did not give you any independent recognition so yes, you can say that I am CCI written certified, but that uh, is just a qualification exam. That means uh, now you are qualified to take the lab exam. If there was no specific designation for that. Uh, and when you go for the lab exam, it was total eight hours. It is actually currently eight hours because until uh, next year, it will be the same structure. And uh, the eight hour is divided into three different uh, modules right now. As we know that the first part when you go for the exam in the morning is T-shoot. And troubleshooting where you have a topology already configured and some faults have been inserted so you need to find the faults and fix the faults so you get two hours for this and you can actually borrow 30 more minutes from the config lab section the third section so maximum you can get two hours and 30 minutes in the t-shoot part and uh, after that there is a diagnostic section which is 30 minutes fixed and this was a new addition actually in the CCI version 5 uh, lab exam of routing switching and other CCI also. Now diagnostic uh, simply means that you don't get to configure any devices. Uh, you just uh, have to answer some questions, some drop down questions, uh, mix and match or uh, multiple choice questions depending on the output of some show commands, some email exchanges or uh, a specific uh, image of the network configuration. So basically diagnostic simply means without configuration, you just uh, come to some conclusion that what can be the problem uh, according to the best of your knowledge. So no configuration into diagnostic part and that was 30 minutes fixed. And then the last part, the biggest part was the configuration lab where you get a new topology. It's not the same topology as T-shoot and uh, it's uh, completely blank maybe there is some ip addressing configured and vlans configured but that's it uh, you will have to uh, and I, most of the time the vlans are also not there just the ip addressing is there so in the config lab you need to start from scratch you configure the uh, topology with layer 2 layer 3 um, advanced configuration like uh, security network management and uh, you have to finish the lab by the end of 5 hours or 5 hours 30 minutes if you have not taken that into the t-shoot format but overall you can see it's eight hours exam and you need to secure 80 percent uh, overall and also you need to pass every section separately individually as well so that is the current format or the old format which is going to change now comparing this to the new format first thing you will notice is, is that cci qualification exam now earns you a certification a designation which is called a specialist certification so you can be called a cci specialist after you get the qualification exam done so that is one uh, change in <clears throat> one change into the written uh, written uh, part of the exam lab exam has been changed completely you can see it is still eight hours but now it is divided into two parts designing which is the first three hours of the exam it's fixed and then the second part is deploy operate and optimize which is five hours uh, fixed part now you will notice that in the design part it will be pretty similar to the written exams of uh, cisco where you cannot go back so there is no back button uh, you solve the question you go to the next one you cannot go back and this is pretty similar to the diagnostic part of the old format where you cannot configure anything you don't get access to the devices you just get uh, some outputs as i said email exchanges or some uh, com show commands outputs debug command outputs and you need to come to a conclusion what is the problem and the questions can be uh, mix and match uh, or multiple choice questions drop down list or web based uh, scenario, scenario questions so you have to just answer those questions by looking at the show commands and some of the email exchanges basically no configuration allowed into the design part and configuration lab uh, part of the last exam is pretty similar to this second part of the new format deploy operate and optimize where you need to implement the technology that means there will be configuration involved and then some advanced configuration like quality of service and uh, network management services infrastructure services like dacp dns uh, 
uh, and uh, NTP. So this is I'm talking about CCI routing and switching, but the same thing can, will apply to other exams as well. And uh, this will also involve a little bit of troubleshooting when you are doing the optimization. So optimization means how can you fix something or how can you make something work optimally. So this is also five hours fixed, but the difference is that in this one, you can actually go back to the older question. So the whole exam will be open to you and you can go back and forth within the different questions, similar to the config, uh, configuration lab section of the actual exam. And the automation and programmability, which has been introduced by Cisco in last few years, uh, will become the integral part of every CCI track. So there will be questions of automation and programmability mixed into the designing part also and also into the second part of deploy, operate and optimize. So that is the basic structure change as you can see. Now the first part, design part as I told you, it will be similar to the direct section where the scenario based questions will be there, no configuration and the questions will be web based like drag, draw, drag and drops, multiple choice questions and drop down and the deploy operate and optimize part this will be similar to the configuration lab part where the configuration of the devices is the deploying part maybe there will be some web based questions also so they will throw in some questions just like uh, drop down list or drag and drop questions depending on your current configuration and operate and optimize part would include topics like network management troubleshooting high availability uh, security and qos so these questions will go into the second part of the of the complete lab so this is the basic idea this is how the uh, this is going to be structurized so how Karotul, Karotul can help you so as i told you earlier that we have cci trainers with more than 10 years of experience including myself and we are in constant touch with industry leaders including cisco people to <clears throat> to get the insights what's happening and what exactly going to change and what to be expected plus our training structure is a way is in this in a way that very high first time passing records are there because uh, when we start our courses we make sure that the core knowledge is uh, tackled first and then you prepare for the lab not directly going for just the lab and we will also have a special sessions on the SDN part automation and network programmability because that is going to be a big part of the exam and that is going to be the future for Cisco Cisco is very clear that SDN is not going away anywhere and programmability will be a big part of it. So we will make sure that you are confident when you are going for the exam, not only just about the core technologies, but about the software defined networking part as well. So I hope you like this video and this help you to understand some insights, what's going to change. Of course, these are not the only changes, but these are some of the core changes. We'll come up with some more videos uh, talking about some other miscellaneous changes happening as well. And don't forget to subscribe to keep on getting our technological videos as well. Thank you very much and I'll see you into the next video.